want to get rewards, you've got to take risks. And in Titanfall 2, the greatest risks have the greatest rewards. The little green cylinders you've been seeing spread around multiplayer maps, those are Titan batteries. If you manage to pick one up off the floor, you're in luck. All you've got to do is make your way to a friendly Titan or call down a Titan of your own and install it, just like you'd install the batteries in your television remote control. If you manage to install a battery, you'll give a Titan a small health boost if they were missing any, and a maximum charge on their shield. With that, they'll be able to dance around like the Energizer Bunny without fear of getting destroyed in a few seconds. Inversely, if you rodeo an enemy Titan, you'll rip out their battery, deal some damage to them, and promptly have a bullseye placed on your back. Those are some of the rewards. Except, maybe that last one, the bullseye isn't a good thing, especially if it's on your back. That's kind of the worst place to have a bullseye. Anyway, stealing and installing batteries is extremely dangerous, and unless you're completely out of combat, the chance of you getting swatted like a fly, trampled, shot, electrocuted, disintegrated, mollywopped, dookie, blasted, is extremely high. But like I said earlier, if you don't take risks, you don't get rewards. So, besides death, what are the risks to attempting to steal a Titan battery? In game modes like Bounty Hunt and Attrition, attempting and failing to steal a battery means giving the enemy team points towards their victory condition and charge on their Titan core abilities or Titan build meter. However, in modes like Amped Hardpoint and Capture the Flag, since victory isn't earned by killing enemy pilots, you only run the risk of the latter. Now, if stealing batteries was just a question of do I risk my life to deal some damage to a Titan so I can give my buddy a shield, it would never be worth it. If you steal a battery, you damage an enemy Titan. Yes, I already said that, you know this. You also gain progress on your Titan build meter. If you manage to install that battery in a friendly Titan, they gain a shield and health. I know, I said that already too. Additionally, you gain more progress on your Titan build meter. All of those rewards in tandem make a successful battery run worth its weight in gold, diamonds, chocolate, or some other valuable commodity. Maybe ice cream, I don't know. Last thing worth mentioning about batteries, there's a boost called Battery Backup. So if you don't feel like stealing, activate it and you'll make a quick phone call to Mr. Scotty, Miles O'Brien, or whoever happens to be banning the transporter, and he'll beam one onto your butt. What you do with it is up to you. You could sprinkle salt on it and lick it for all I care, though that's probably not a good idea. The smart options try and give it to a friendly or be a selfish asshole and use it on your own Titan. That's what I would do. Before we close out completely, you're probably wondering, what's the best way to steal a battery? Well, there is no best way, but there are pilot kits, tacticals, and weapons that can make getting your five finger discount on a certified pre-owned battery slightly easier. In my experience, the grapple, cloak, and phase shift tacticals all have tremendous benefits when you're thinking about Grand Theft Battery. For weapons, throwing an arc grenade will limit a titan's vision and turning speed which will help you escape. Electric smoke grenades are a great way to block vision and deny area as well. Last but certainly not least, the low profile pilot kit will reduce the exhaust from your jump jets and it will eliminate the loud pitter patter sound you make when you rodeo a titan. I don't know if the enemy still gets a notification that you're on board, but either way I find it helpful. So, once again, if you want to get rewards, you've got to take risks. Stealing batteries from giant walking death machines is a big risk, but the rewards are undeniably worth it.